The ZANU-PF government, through Justice Minister Ziambi Ziambi, has reaffirmed its stance on the prolonged incarceration of former legislator Job C. Kala, insisting that his continued detention is justified. Minister Ziambi made this declaration during an interview at the commencement of the 2024 legal year in Harare. Sikala has been held in remand prison since June 14, 2022, facing charges of inciting public violence related to the disturbances at the funeral of CCC activist Mora Blissing Ali, who was tragically killed by ZANU-PF activist Pius Mukandi, also known as Jamba. Mukandi was recently sentenced to 30 years in prison for the crime, responding to allegations that Sikala is a political prisoner. Minister Ziambi emphasized that the law operates impartially, and court decisions should not be anticipated to favor any particular side. He underscored the independence of the courts, stating, When you go to the courts, do not expect the outcome to be on your side. Cases are looked at both sides. Minister Ziambi cautioned against expecting biased judgments and highlighted Chief Justice Luke Malaba's remarks on impartiality during the opening of the 2024 legal year. He asserted that the courts are autonomous and operate without interference, urging fair expectations from those involved. CCC spokesperson Pramas Mkwananzi accused the government of exhibiting double standards, alleging that Sikala is a victim of political imprisonment. Human rights activists, both locally and internationally, continue to call for Sikala's release, asserting that justice is being denied. The CCC further accused the judiciary of being influenced by the ZANU-PF-led government.